Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome to another game of StarCraft 2 Heart of the Swarm. Today we're going to be discussing a pretty good subject, um, because recently, as many of you will know, I've been pretty much exclusively been doing Roach Bane Busts um, in Zerg vs. Terran, simply for the fact that I did up my Zerg vs. Terran win rate to about 80% and most of the losses seem to go when I go for some standard uh, Mutaling uh, Bane play. Um, and recently, like I said, I've been doing this a whole ton. Now the question that a lot of you asked is, what do you do? When your Rage Bane Bus doesn't just straight up kill your opponent. I mean, there's a couple of things you could be doing, but what is the best response most of the time? So what will end up happening in this game is that I'm gonna do a Roach Bane Bust, I will do a significant amount of damage, however my opponent is Terran, and Terrans have this very nifty strategy, where they just basically tend to not die. <laughs> they will just make some more mules, they will just land some more mules on their three command centers and then they will just sort of keep on going with that and what ends up happening is that they just sort of not die. So how do you transition out of that? Now there's a couple of things you can do. First off, you can just make your double upgrades, you can go for a lair, go for like bane links and bane link speed and some mutas and then go for, you know, your standard muta link bane play, which is something a lot of the Korean programmers love to do. Um, or what I'm in, the, in this game going to do is I'm actually gonna extend the Roach Bane Link play um, into like a second wave of all-ins. Now you will see that very shortly, uh, but kind of keep in mind that it is still an all-in, it is still something that is supposed to do damage, and if you mess up anywhere, you're very likely to lose just because you messed up somewhere. So if you if you mess up in macro, you know, you just gotta accept the fact that you're likely already really far behind, um, and that the timing attack, both timing attacks, really will not work that well. So what are we gonna do? I'm first gonna go for this Roach Bane Bust, like I said. I'm gonna deal a bunch of damage. I think I kill about 20 or so SCVs in this game. Uh, but I, you know, I don't end up killing my opponent because he has three command centers, he still has all of productions going on, but he is severely crippled. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow this Roach Bane up with Roach Speed Bane and Roach Speed. No, not ro Roach Speed Bane. Well, what would it be? Speed Roach Speed Bane? Something like that. And plus one, plus one attack. So what's gonna happen? I'm still gonna stay on the exact same army composition of Zirkling, Roaches, and Banelings. However, I'm gonna actually do it in a, you know, much stronger fashion with double upgrades, with Roach Speed, and with Baneling Speed, um, allowing them to be a lot, lot stronger. Uh, but obviously, you are a little bit vulnerable to drops and whatnot, and you will see that um, in this game as well. It's not like I'm playing perfect in this game whatsoever. I do make a, a bunch of mistakes. Um, I, for example, do engage off of creep at some point, uh, where I really don't need to. Um, so, yeah, that's just uh, the general setup of this game. Now, I'm going to be talking about everything that I'm thinking about while playing this game. So, hopefully, you can be improving as well. If you have any questions during this game, feel free to post them right below that like button in the comment section below. I will try my best to monitor... Uh, the comment section and to try and, and answer all of the questions and most of the time it's actually some other high level zerks that are uh, watching this channel that will also help you out so if you see anyone asking questions feel free to respond to them as well I, I try my best though i try my best so here we go as you might have noticed i did go for a hatchery first into a spawning pool without a gas geyser now this is kind of standard nowadays um i did scout that my opponent was going for some normal play as well um and you know i don't really need to worry about very much of anything there is a reaper out but um, you know, I'm not I'm not too worried about it. I've got to get about four queens out as soon as possible And even though this map has a really really big ramp towards the the main base It's really just mostly just a little bit of an annoying thing um, You know no, most of the time what used to happen on this map is that players would go for like four or five Reapers simply because of this big big latch right here where they could just jump up uh, But nowadays it's really not that common anymore. I'm not too worried about it So I feel okay just going for this gasless opener um, And I just like it a little bit better whenever I am roach bane busting simply because it lines up a, sli a slightly slightly a little bit nicer So there we go my third and my fourth queen are just about to pop going to be putting those in gas making machines <laughs> And I'm gonna actually um, use my other two queens for some creep spreading uh, meanwhile, at the 5 minute mark, I got my double gas geyser going, and in a little bit, I'm also gonna attempt to get a third base up. So, so far, this is completely standard, I could even be playing macro off of this, if I didn't know that my opponent was going to play... play eh, if I didn't know that my opponent was going to play completely standard, um, I would have maybe also gone for like a double upgrades and a lair or something like that. Um, but I'm gonna try and attempt a third base right now, so everything is still looking completely fine. Now, I just managed to catch this, this drone right here, so I do decide to morph it into... A uh, gas geyser right there just to buy a little bit more time while sending over my zerklings um, To try and get this third base up eventually I'm not too worried actually that it is a little bit delayed uh, because I will get it up anyway, and it's no big deal Now as you can see I just started my zerkling speed I'm going to be starting my roach warren as well as my bailing nest right now 
And as you might know, I'm gonna stop droning in a little bit. Once I have full saturation, let's have a look at my drone count right now. Yeah, I got full saturation already. Pretty much already. I actually made a bunch more right here for no apparent reason. Um, but right now I'm gonna stop making drones and I'm gonna make a bunch of overlords and after that I'm just gonna sit and wait. I'm gonna wait for my roach warren to finish up so I can actually start making a bunch of roaches all at once and then I'm gonna follow up my roaches with a whole lot of zerklings so I can move across the map with my forces. Now this is going to be a pretty strong timing attack. If you have never done this push before, I would highly recommend it. Um, in most games that I play, I actually most of the time already finish them off at this scenario. Uh, but like I said, in this game we're going to be focusing only transition um, when you do not deal enough damage. So here we go. Roach is in production. First of all, Roach is in production. Gonna follow this up with Zerklings. Third base in production as well. Not quite done yet, but I'm gonna send the Queen over there uh, very shortly so I can get that extra larva income out. Um, and I'm also going to just reinforce this army with more and more and more and more zerklings and I'm gonna transfer a couple of the drones for my natural there were access uh, to my third base so so far my opponent does not suspect a thing okay he does not know that I'm gonna go for any kind of aggression however as you can see the hellions are just chilling right there and he will get a pretty good understanding of the amount of roaches that I have and he definitely knows that something is up right now um, so you know I, I basically showed him my cards now that is a bit of a problem because he will have time to prepare as you can see you already see a bunker go down um, Widow mines are instantly in production as well, and that is the reason why this engagement did not simply win me the game. Simply because my opponent saw that I was moving out right when I started moving out. So he had a pretty good timing right there uh, for him as well, and he's going to be able to defend this. However, even when your opponent is completely defended and he, let's say, has like four bunkers up, it still does not really matter. You can still deal so, so much damage with this push, and considering I have my third base up, I will be able to transition out of this. Here we go, eating the first Widow Mine shots, and I'm gonna move up the ramp. Gotta have to try my best that I don't line up my Bane Links, but I also miss Micro a little bit right here. Do blow up that, or I do blow up that one uh, bunker right there, and it does end up going down. Still dealing more and more damage. As you can see more Widow Mines being burrowed, trying to Micro my best uh, against those. But sadly, uh, not really getting too much damage done. However, got a nice baneling detonation. I don't notice right now, actually, that his command center is so low. But this is the first step to the transition. So you notice right here that it's very obvious that I'm not going to be able to kill my opponent just flat out right here, right? So what I decide to do is I instantly start my lair. I just start, or I decide to start a double evolution chamber, but most importantly, I started about 15 drones right there, and that is that is crucial. Once you realize that the fight is not going in your favor anymore, you need to drone up that third base as soon as humanly possible, okay? So even though my opponent is likely still preparing for any kind of potential aggression, I've already got my third base saturated right now. If you take a look at income, we are 63 Harfesters versus 31, and yes, there's mules in there, so we, you know, we do not have like a, a huge, huge lead, but we still have a very sizable lead. So there we go, my lair is about to finish up, I have started plus one, plus one upgrades, did go for the melee upgrades, because maybe if we go super late game, my ultralisk are gonna benefit more uh, from the melee upgrades than the ranged upgrades, and I also got a... Um, extra hatchery out, as well as some more gas geysers, simply for the extra larva production. So there we go, my lair is done. I will decide to start Roach Speed right there, Glyo Reconstitution, as well as Bane Link Speed very shortly, as soon as I can afford it, uh, which I should be allowed to very soon. And now I'm gonna start producing non-stop units again. So I actually didn't start Bane Link Speed yet. Um, might have actually forgotten it at this point, that would be bad. That would actually be kind of silly. No, I don't think I did yet. I don't think I did. Alright, notice though that... Yeah, okay, there we go. I do start the Bane Link Speed upgrade right there as well. Uh, but notice though that I did spend a ton of resources into getting my third base saturated as quickly as possible. So between the actual engagement and me having a full saturated army with a lair done with road speed incoming and building speed incoming and plus one plus one incoming, there's very little time in between those two things. So I am gonna do some scouting around right here, but I'm once again making non-stop units. And the next timing that I'm gonna try and hit is right when all these upgrades finish. So right when Bane Link Speed finishes, right when Road Speed finishes, is when I wanted to start taking an engagement once more. Now I'm looking for a third base. I don't know if my opponent does have a third base, so I'm looking for it right now. Sending Zerklings to all potential bases, and there we go, boom. I do manage to scout it, and it is only just barely up. You can see that it wasn't really mining yet, there wasn't really very much going on right there. So I'm actually kind of happy right now, because I know that I'm gonna have a bigger economy. 
still just making non-stop roaches and glyo reconstitution which is road speed as well as plus one plus one are just about to finish up so i should be moving out very soon gonna morph out a bunch more banelings and i'm also gonna make more and more and more units now the fort base is only really there once again if it is necessary to transition but i do plan on using a whole lot of my army here for the engagement that is gonna come out next now i noticed on the minimap that my opponent is actually also moving and i just saw him right there with a glimpse of his army close to my third and this is delaying the fight no Normally I would move across the map right now, but I did notice that my opponent is somewhere here and I decided to take a pretty big engagement of creep. Kind of bad by me, really don't have to do that, but I'm gonna do that very shortly and you will see that it will cost me way more than it will actually give me. Um, so, you know, general tip whenever you are playing Terran, don't engage off creep, just don't. There's no reason to, your banelings will be really bad off creep and I'm gonna get greedy, that's the main thing, like I just get greedy, look, here we go. Such a silly thing, he was just about to go on creep as well. And even though I can take this fight, I take more lo losses than I really should have. Oh well. Oh well. So here we go, I'm gonna run my Zerklings across, just trying to do as much damage to him as possible. And I should be able to clean up this fight with no problems whatsoever. Uh, I am in an economy lead right now as well as an army lead, so this should be a pretty clean cleanup. However, there we go, the dropships are starting landing in the main base. I do need to defend this, drops can really massacre your day. So usually the easiest way to defend is to just use the reinforcing eggs, the reinforcing cocoons, to actually go for the main base and use the queens that are over there as well. So meanwhile, while I'm aggressively moving across the map, I'm trying to micro at two fronts, sending half of my army to the main and the other half uh, towards my opponent's third base while defending the drop in the main and this is crucial if you give your opponent too much time He will just simply sit back more make a big army and you will lose So even though these drops are going on you cannot simply a move back to the main base And it's something that you see a lot from people especially in like platinum league and whatnot where this multitasking is just a little bit too taxing um, Just try and more make yourself, you know move at different places on the map instead of just moving at one area at once So there we go. I will manage to clean up my opponent right here Keep in mind that this all came down to me dealing a significant amount of damage earlier on in the game and I will be able to just simply clean it up right here. My opponent says GG and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe, but whatever you do, make sure you comment down below with any kind of questions that you might have. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile and I'll see you in the next one.